So the two other things to note in the preferred developer model is that what I was getting to identify the elements earlier, uh, what assets do we have on the property? We've got 350 or 400 in the ground, and then we've got uh, a number, I don't know if you know this number yet, but whatever the uh, estimated cost of the public improvements would be. So again, any, I don't know what kind of water sewer, but definitely the public parking lot's gonna be the biggest number. So you've got that number, and you've got the 400,000. And again, let's just say that's five, six, seven, eight hundred. I don't know how much that is. You know, one thought is that you could take that seven or eight hundred, assume that number. You know, and, and that can help you um, bite off some of the two point five million of the numbers, right? And I agree with your your built numbers, Ken. Uh, so the thought, one option again, if the city says, "Hey, developer, this is your risk. You develop." You know, and, and build the thing. Here's what we want exactly on the second floor. We're going to own it via air rights, and if you can negotiate, you, you know, to where you sell this for 400, you give them free through the TIF revenue. You give them free uh, parking, you know, improvements. We're subsidized. You, you, know, um, you know, can you get that 2.5 million dollar cost for your new city building down to the high 1. Point something million? That's just another little way. You know, this. Um, let me throw this out as, a, as maybe to, to kind of push forward a little bit. Um, does it make sense in terms of, I'm trying to picture a framework of the recommendation uh, to council. Um, and does it make sense to look at sort of two extremes? Yeah, you know, I'm really looking at the ownership now. And we've got the JV thing in the middle. So look at that, which may be an option, but for now look at the two extremes. Again, we've got the, the three traditional models you, know, you talked about, I get the model I talked about. But regardless, where you've got the you know, city owning all of that building, or let's say you've got the other extreme as the city just owning the second floor. Okay. Would it make sense as a framework to do our best to fill in as reasonable uh, as many of the pieces of the pro forma and then deliver that and you know massage that amongst ourselves, something that we could hopefully you know get around and say, hey. Here's your two extremes. Now, maybe at some point they say, well, geez, Rob, what's the middle, mm -hmm. you, you know, look like? You, you know, maybe they want to see that. But to me, maybe you don't go there yet just to save a little bit of time and say, what are the two extremes? And then again, it goes down to appetite of risk, and there is upside, and there is, there's potential downside. And when you fill in all those pro forma pieces and the blanks, you can start saying, well, if we want to do the whole thing, here is the estimated upside and you know here's what it's here's what our debt service is going to be then the, the least amount of risk framework here's what that looks like okay council what what you know what prototype do you do ready or performa or, or maybe Jerry you ready two one at well, two and a half one at four or we're just going to take one model and what, what do you think two and a half is kind of a smaller side and what do you think is the bigger side four four all right so We've taken a thousand choices to two. That's good. <laughs> to me, so, that way, for, for, yeah, for, exactly. for a body like council, that they you need to see all the options. I'm just picking the extremes and, and saying, hey, you know, what's your appetite? Or is it somewhere in the middle? And then we can come back and, and do a JV program. And at the same time, yeah. you can run studies of, you know, how full are the apartments there? I don't know what that is. I think they're pretty full. They're near, um, near full. Yeah. They're near full. Yeah. Full. Yeah, near full. So, you know, same thing on the retail. You know, you know make sure that you can fill it up because no JV guy is going to buy it just because he heard a rumor somebody wants it. Yeah. So, you know, we have to, there's a cost side and then there's a feasibility side. Yeah. But once you get down to two choices, you're halfway there. So, if we as the CIC agree that that's the two paths to pursue, then I well, think it's a great, a great strategy because then they'll, they'll know both ends. Right, and, and, and let, let the council decide. Now, well, obviously, what we want to do, for, if you buy into that two strategies, um, two, two pro formas, I mean, we want to have apples to apples. So, you know, that, that may be somewhere this, is, where this body starts talking about. You know, is it two, three, four stories? Uh, what's the assumptions that we're going to use for the first floor? Is it all retail? Is 50% you know, retail and 50% office, professional service, or other? 
you, you know, and, and agree on a set of apples to apples, you know, programming and, and space utilization, and then, you know, plug right. in all the numbers. So you're saying mm -hmm. under either scenario, floors one and two have to be the same. Well, that's what I'm suggesting, just to keep it apples to yeah. apples. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Just want to clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the second floor is city hall and our tenant friend. Yeah, choice First floor is combination of retail and professional. And a little bit of space for walk in for bill payers and people who don't go to right. steps or mm -hmm. elevators. Mm -hmm. And then the residential component, we're in agreement. We're kind of more an apartment than we are a condo. The issue with condo is now you got all these separate owners mm -hmm. and you got parking things. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to pay 400 grand for an apartment or for a condo. Yeah, they don't have two cars. And, yeah, and then they want a garage, garage. and then everything else. I mean, that's, you, you talked about it. It's messy. It's, it's, it's messy. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why those are apartments. Sure. You know, he's been doing that a long time. Plus, you can't get financing on all those, or at least in the private market, well, to you, speak of. you got to have more money to buy a car. Mm -hmm. right. At what point in time do we bring the public into this conversation? We can walk so far down this and find out that, oh my gosh, we could have taken this a lot further because everybody loves it. But just the opposite of that, everybody hates it. When do we, when do we bring this? I think that's part of that public hearing process that Dan was talking about. The city council. I, I would suggest that that public input stay with within the realm of city council because, quite frankly, yeah. they, could, yeah. they could ignore. 100% of our recommendation, you know, that's okay. That's that's how the system yeah. set up. Yeah. Um, but do we want that? But do we want that form before we make our presentation? Yeah. No. Or before we do our homework? No. You'll no. never get to a presentation. Yeah. Okay. No. I think we need to make. I agree. I think we need to go out and, and make some assumptions and try to keep it apples to apples. Take the residential, for instance. There may be people out there or in here even that want residential really bad and then don't want residential or just want two stories. I don't care what's up, they don't want any higher than two. I, I think once we get a, 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 a two pro formas with everything filled in, at that point, when council's looking at the two, and at that point, you, you now have, because it's on a new public record, you know, pro formas, you know, the, cit or the citizens are looking at this too. I think it's easier at that point to start plug and play. Well, let's take out one floor of residential. Well, let's take out all the floors of residential. You know what I'm saying? I do. And, and, and at that point, if there's a big groundswell in the community that says, no, we only want two stories, period. Well, well council, if they choose, they can say, hey, Kelly, you're going to the performance. Just, just take that out. And it becomes more plug and play to me. And But you've established the numbers. You see where the numbers go. Too. Yeah. And you can start, yeah, you start just moving this wheel almost up. But, you know, investment goes up, upside goes up, risk goes up. You know, so you can start gotcha. playing that. And so, you know, the this, this citizenry can kind of go along for that ride with council in terms of the analysis, you know, type of thing. But to, to me, this is really establishing a framework and then booting it over. And if you want, if council says, hey, we want, we want, uh, we need something from you. We need advice from you. We've heard of this. What about that? That's fine. And we need to start somewhere. Yeah. And that ownership and joint venture or kind of sub parts of that yeah and that those, those are conversations obviously you know those kind of matter yeah but Chase said table that for now yeah. just try yeah. to go yeah. out and yeah. the main thing is look at one choice yeah, because once you, once you give us risk, direction then yeah. we can start saying Kelly can start saying well if you're talking about two stories versus three here's our financing option I can say here's your legal options right Ken can say here's here's your upsides if you tweak it just a little bit here's where the upside increases but we kind of need, like you're talking about, we need that prototype. Because all that stuff goes into the very issues of, geez, do we own it? Do we take that job and own it? Or do we take a more conservative route? Yeah. You know, all you know, the debt service, the tip. Or is it worth it? I mean, if it's a two-story building, that's not really a lot of responsibility. Right. Yeah. right. I think it gets it going. Yeah. yeah. So right. what's, uh, as far as the next steps, then do you, we want a motion to do that? To direct them to start that pro forma um, and then set our next meeting. What's kind of well, the next, what's kind of next steps? Let's do the question. I mean, uh, in terms of doing the, the legwork, the pro forma, yeah, that, you, you 
even started, right? We have to put that together. Is that something that the city staff, I mean, can yeah. say, hey, direct Kelly yeah. and or Dave? I mean, and between our group here, the yeah. four of us, if we, if you want to have a second meeting and come back, mm -hmm. we could start that for pro forma. I know Ken and Rob have both in various iterations started one. We can put all of our efforts together and then be prepared to start moving those pieces, if you will. So we don't really need a motion. We just need to have it so that it's on our agenda for the day. Yeah, you just tell us that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're, we're trying to get work or bees here. Okay. So instead of waiting until May for the next meeting, I think we should have something to get. Can you bring us back as soon as is reasonable to the extreme low and high risk on ownership? Can you bring back those performers? And you may not have everything. We can do that, can't you? Yeah, I mean, I think we can do that pretty easily. Yeah. And then we can circulate it internally and then be ready to answer your questions. No.